Oh, would you look at that? It is YouTube time again. So, we're going to look at a secret weapon here. Something I use in the shop quite a bit. What we're doing is we're taking this bearing, we're putting it back on the end of this armature above this commutator. So, I took the old bearing off. I've cleaned up this commutator. You can tell that it's nice and shiny. And uh, I'll go into cleaning commutators in a different video, but for this video, we're going to focus on reseating bearings and uh, what I use for my secret weapon. And uh, there it is, Ultra Duster. Um, I guess that's a brand name. What you do is you take this, tip it upside down, and we're going to make this shaft really, really, really cold. We want to freeze this thing. Uh, if you have liquid nitrogen, uh, I don't think that would uh, uh, be as effective safely because it's probably going to get the metal so cold that it's going to be brittle. You can see what I'm doing is I'm just squeezing out a tiny bit. Normally, when this is upright, there we go. You shouldn't see anything coming out because it's for dusting electronics, right? But we're using this to shrink this an infinitesimal amount, just enough so that we can slip this new bearing back on here hopefully without any problems. I normally press my bearings off in a press and uh, this is how I like to put them back on. It's just easier for me. So we want to get that started true. And we're going to tap it on with a brass hammer. You want to use a brass hammer or a copper hammer. Use something where <clears throat> the hammer's surface is of, of a softer, uh, softer metal than whatever it is you're hammer, hammering on. We're going to go real gentle with this. And I'm turning this armature as I'm going. Okay, now, <clears throat> the inner flange of this bearing is flush with the shaft, but you can see that it needs to go down a little more. What we need is a socket where the inner diameter is a little bit larger than the shaft of whatever we're trying to flush this bearing onto, yet large enough in a wall section to cover the flange because we don't want to be pressing on the bearing out here we want to be pressing on the bearing on the very inner part of the flange because if we press on the outer part on the race out here the outer flange what we're going to do is deform the bearing and ruin it we're going to have to do the process all over again now I'm doing this blind so I'm doing it by feel And at some point, it's going to offer just a tiny bit more resistance with each drop of the hammer. And notice I say drop of the hammer. These aren't blows or strikes. I'm being, being very, uh, very gentle with the hammer. I'm basically just letting it fall. Okay, and we're there. Now, sometimes what I'll do is depending on what I'm seating the bearing back onto, I'll put a steel plate down here, but you see this, these spiral cuts here? This has been hardened, so I don't want to put it on something, something metal. If I had a brass or copper base that I could put down here, I would probably use that, but it's, I'm least likely to damage this if I just let it rest in that hole, and this is wood, so if I let that set on wood, I'm least likely to damage it. So now our bearings back on there. You can see that there's no longer a gap. It's seated just where it needs to be and uh, we used our secret weapon. So we'll talk about this briefly. What happens is when these particles of liquid drop onto something they start to flash vaporize and when they flash vaporize 
whatever they're vaporizing off of turns very, very cold. It drops the temperature rapidly. And uh, I wish I had one of those uh, fancy uh, laser thermometers to show you the temperature difference, but when I grab up here, it's pretty warm. It starts getting colder right about there, really cold there, and it's freezing cold there. Uh, I don't have a gauge as to how cold it is really, but uh, it's much, much colder. And when you shrink the metal, or I should say when you cool the metal, you shrink the metal. So we shrunk the shaft just enough to very easily tap that bearing back into place. So hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.